In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add background music to a video using your Android phone. And I'm gonna show you how to do it on four different video editing apps. I'm gonna show you how to do it on Alight Motion. I'm gonna show you how to do it on Kinemaster. I'm gonna show you how to do it on VN. And I'm gonna show you how to do it on VLLO or Villo, however you wanna pronounce that app. They should have come up with a better name for that. Now, first things first, before I start opening the apps and start showing you how to import a music track, we first need to get a music track. And in order to do that, I'm gonna use a music service called Licked. Now, Licked is where you go if you wanna use popular music for your YouTube videos because they work directly with the music labels and they can get those tracks for you legally so you're not gonna have copyright issues. Licked is also mobile friendly, so if you're doing everything on a phone, you can easily search their content library, purchase and download their music. And since they are today's video sponsor, I'm gonna put a link to them down in the description below. Your first track is totally free. No catches, no gimmicks, it's totally free. And you get 50% off your second order, your entire second order. So if you're not familiar with Licked, go down, sign up for free and get that free track. Okay, so the first app we're gonna open up is Alight Motion. And what you wanna do is create a new project and you do that by tapping on the green plus icon down at the bottom. You tap on that and you choose the ratio that you wanna work with. I'm gonna work in 16 by nine because that's standard for YouTube. So we're gonna do this for all of the apps. So 16 by nine is my ratio. My resolution is 1080p. If you wanted to go up to 4K, you could do that. Or if you wanted to go lower, you can do that. But I don't recommend going under 1080. My frame rate is 24 frames per second. You can change that as well and go all the way up to 60 frames per second. And my background, I'm gonna keep light gray. Then I'm gonna tap on create project. Now right away you'll see that there's nothing in here, so I'm gonna tap on the green plus down in the bottom right hand corner, and I'm gonna add a video clip. I'm gonna tap on images and video, then I like to tap on view all because it gives me a vertical layout of my gallery. I prefer this, so I'm gonna tap on the first video, then I'm gonna tap on the plus icon on the bottom right, and that's gonna import it into our timeline. Now I'm gonna show you the ins and outs of this app and how to edit with it in another video, and the same for all these other apps. So we're gonna move past this part, and I'm not gonna get into the nitty gritty of the actual video clip. I'm just gonna show you how to import the audio. So I'm gonna tap off here because you see you have the video settings down here at the bottom. So I'm just gonna tap on the timeline, and those are gonna go away. Once those are gone, go down to the green plus again in the bottom right hand corner, tap on that, but only this time we're gonna tap on audio. Then go over to view all, and then it's gonna show you all of your audio tracks. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and press the plus icon for the song I wanna import. Now you see the purple track that's been added. Now what I wanna do is scrub along the timeline and keep an eye on the audio waves because I know when this beat actually comes in. And when that happens, which is about right there, then I'm gonna split the clip and remove everything to the left of it, which is this icon right here. Then I'm gonna scroll all the way back on the timeline and put the cursor there then I'm gonna tap on this button and that's gonna justify the audio clip that I just cut and bring it back to the beginning. And I'm gonna hit play. Adding background music to KineMaster is just as easy when you open the app, you wanna obviously create a new project and you do that by tapping on the plus icon right here in the center and that's gonna come back to the ratios. Remember we just talked about that when we had a light motion open. Again, 16 by nine is what I'm going to use, but if you're doing something with vertical format like TikTok or a Facebook or Instagram story, think about using nine by 16, that's vertical format or an Instagram square of one by one. So I'm gonna tap on 16 by nine, then my timeline's gonna load up. So the first thing I wanna do is go in and find my video clip. And that's gonna be in my download folder, so I'm gonna tap on that. Then I'm gonna tap on the clip I wanna use. Then I wanna tap on the check mark up on the top right hand corner. I'm gonna tap on that, it's gonna take us right back to the beginning of the clip. Next, I'm gonna add the music track. Over here on the right, I'm gonna tap on audio. Then I'm gonna go in and find the music track that I wanna use. And as you can see over here on the left, they have options. They have music assets that you can use from KineMaster. They have sound effects where you can download sound effects. They have recorded clips for things that you've actually recorded like voiceovers. You can keep scrolling down to use songs or albums, artists, genres. They have this sorted a lot of different ways. But for me, I'm gonna to go to folders, then I'm gonna to go to download because that's where my music is. Then I'm gonna choose the music that I wanna use, which is Dinosaur Jr., Feel the Pain. I'm gonna tap on that. You can preview the track by tapping on the red play button, or you can hit the plus icon and go ahead and import it, and that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna tap on the plus, then I'm gonna hit the check mark again on the top right hand corner. Now for this track, I know there's something on the beginning that I wanna cut off, so I'm going to tap on the clip. And by the way, this is where all the editing is for audio. So you have your volume controls, you can turn the volume up or down, 
It has EQ, so you can have different types of sounds. It will automatically EQ your track, and this works great for vocals as well. You have your volume envelope, so if you want to keyframe along your track and raise the volume or lower the volume, you can do that here. And of course, scrolling down, you have reverb, voice changers, ducking, loop, and so on. Now, ducking is important if you're doing vocal content, if you're doing talking head type content or voiceovers. When you turn ducking on, when you speak, it's gonna automatically lower the music a little bit, allowing your voice to stand out more. But this isn't a talking piece, so I'm gonna turn this off. And though we didn't make any changes, I'm gonna hit the check up here in the top right again. And then I'm gonna hit play. Now let's open up the next app, B-L-L-O, or Villo, however you wanna pronounce it, and let me show you how to add your background music to this app. When the app opens up, you wanna tap on Great Video, Edit Your Video on the Go and Share, and what happens is, as soon as you tap on that, it goes right into your gallery where you choose the clip or clips that you wanna work with. I'm gonna tap on this one, and you can see down here in the bottom left, it added this clip to the queue. So if I kept tapping on clips, it would keep adding them to the queue. But to add it to the actual timeline, I wanna tap on the arrow up on the top right hand corner. I tap on that, and remember the ratio from before, this is another area where you can change that. So make sure 16 by nine is tapped if you're doing this on YouTube. Then tap the check mark on the top right hand corner, and it's gonna add the clip to the timeline. The next step is to go over here to the music icon where it says BGM, or background music. Then go over and tap on my music, because we don't want Christmas music. And then go through and find the track that you wanna import. I want this one. And of course, you can preview the track here as well. Once you find your track, tap on the check mark in the bottom right, and it's gonna import your track into the timeline. And once you get everything exactly how you want it, you press play. The next app we're gonna pull background music into is simply called VN. And when you open up VN, tap on the plus icon down at the bottom, tap on that, then tap on new project. This will take you right into your gallery where you can search and find the clip or clips that you wanna use. I'm gonna use this one, and then I'm gonna tap on the arrow icon down in the bottom right hand corner, and that's gonna import my clip into the timeline. To add the music, it's also incredibly easy. You simply look for the music icon up here at the top, tap on music again. Then it's gonna bring you to an area, and if this is the first time you're using VN, you probably won't see any music here, but if you've used it regularly, you're gonna see your tracks here. These are the tracks that you've used before. Now, if this is blank, and you need to go in and find the track to import, tap on the plus icon right here, and then go in and search through your files to find that track and import it. Now this particular screen recording for VN was done on my iPhone. For some reason, I couldn't get it to screen record on my Android. So for Android users, you're gonna have a couple of different choices here. It's only going to say music library, extract from video, and file manager. Now since my track is already in here and I've used it before, I'm gonna tap off, then I'm gonna tap on the clip that I wanna use. So you tap on that, and this is the audio editor. And this area is pretty cool. You can trim off the beginning or the end, or you can tap on the center and scrub along and edit that way. Down here at the bottom, you're gonna see a little check mark. Tap on the check mark, and it's going to import your audio track into the timeline. Then we're gonna hit play. If you wanna learn even more about mobile video editing, go ahead and tap on one of the videos that I'm showing on the screen right now. Each one of these is gonna to lead to a different app that's gonna up your video editing skills. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll see you in the next video.